So let's talk Pixel Buds. Yes, Google's latest wireless accessory uh, that is supposed to work well with the Pixel 2. Oh, Pixel 2 XL. Not really. But let's talk about what we have here with the Pixel Buds. Now, the Pixel Buds are wireless set of headphones. And, um, you know, what you have here is something that is actually well built in terms of just the hardware itself. I'll give them props for that. You've got a nice fabric case with it, charges via USB type C, uh, it gives you an extra charge. You can get about, you know, uh, about five hours of use of the headphones and also a little bit more with the case itself. Now the case, uh, taking your headphones out, putting it back together, it's pretty nice, very simple process. Now, one of the things that Google talked about with the Pixel Buds is, of course, pairing with your smartphone. Not an easy thing. Nope, I had probably one of the worst experiences pairing this device with my Pixel. It was much easier to pair with my Galaxy Note 8 than my Pixel. Now, the whole idea of pairing with the Pixel is you open up the case, and as long as Bluetooth's on, you should be able to pair with the device because it automatically detects and all that stuff. Didn't work. I tried to just pair via regular Bluetooth. Didn't work either. On my Galaxy Note 8, it was able to do that once, but then it was kind of hard to repair again. So I had a lot of connectivity issues trying to connect this thing. That of course is just a big no. Now, the Pixel Buds also have the ability to do a lot of translate feature. I'm sorry I couldn't show any to you because it was hard and I actually never got it to pair with my Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. But as I said, I was able to pair it with my Galaxy Note 8, so we're gonna talk about audio. Now, before we get to audio, the design of the Pixel Buds are, of course, braided cables, which are nice. You've got a kind of hard shell case around. The, um, the earbuds don't go into your ear, they kind of rest on the ear because the drivers are side placed instead of forward facing. So what you have here is a lot of the sound, you get a lot of background sound with it. That's something that, for earbuds, that is not the kind of experience I want to get. Now the Pixel Buds have the ability to have, they have controls on the right ear cup. And with those controls, you can pause, play music, and also, uh, you can also get Google to read your text messages and things like that, uh, as well as also you know, the translate feature, which didn't work. The text message reading, I could do that on my Galaxy Note device. But you all are concerned about audio. And I'm gonna kind of juxtaposition this with uh, something else, which is the V Moda Forza Metallo Wireless. The reason I'm doing this is because they're both in a similar price range. The Pixel Buds are 159, the V Motors are 169. Both of them are wireless uh, headphones. One has Aptex, one doesn't. And I want to actually see how well Google has done in tuning audio, especially without Aptex or Aptex HD built in. Now the Pixel Buds, as I mentioned, you do not, you don't have that full enclosure for sound. So it takes a lot of, from your listening experience. On the subway, listening to music there, wasn't fun because I could hear the subway quite loud. Now, the audio quality is good. I would say it's decent, but it doesn't breach the highs and lows really well because um, your sound quality, whether it's the drivers, whether it's a lack of aptex, I'm not sure because I don't know what the drivers are on these things, but you get a lot of scratching, if you will, when you get to high notes. So basically, it almost feels like it can't handle notes that go higher. And when it's lower too, the bass frequency is not so much. It's a little bit more fizzled on the lower side of things. So it's not clear. And in the middle, it's good. The mids are actually not bad. So everything there works pretty well. So that is something that limits the amount of music experience and enjoying you're going to get. Now, as opposed to something like the Forza Metallo Wireless, which of course have Aptex, and combined with the drivers that have, granted they're really small drivers, I think it's 7.6 millimeter drivers, but they do a really good job in pushing sound because you've got that Aptex code at helping it out to kind of push it all the way through, which is good. Now, the Pixel Bud probably could have benefited from that, I don't know, maybe it's the drivers. Again, I can't give you a full detail, but I wanted to just kind of give you a comparison there quickly so you know exactly how it would compare to something in that uh, price point. Now, my overall experience with the Pixel Buds were okay. The fact that I couldn't pair with my Pixel, or I had a hard time doing that, actually I couldn't pair with my Pixel, to be correct, uh, was kind of a bummer. The fact that it was even how I had to reconnect to my Galaxy Note 8 at certain times was also a bummer. So I couldn't try out the translate feature, but it looked like at least with the Google commands that I got with Google, um, Google Assistant off my device that it was probably capable of doing that, but connection issues were the, the problem. In terms of audio, for me it was not the best audio experience, 
because of course I do not have that seal, which means I'm getting a lot of background noise. These are not open back headphones. It's a very different thing. These are headphones that do not give you enough enclosure when you actually connect them to your ears. Now they rest well, they won't fall off, but of course there's a lot of sound space open, so which means you're going to hear a lot of background noise. Now the headphones themselves in terms of listening to audio were decent, doesn't cover that much. The, uh, the range was also minimal for me and not the best experience. So there you have it guys. Those, I know a lot of you have been asking about the Pixel Buds to do a review. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Um, this is something that is not my recommendation list, but I just wanted to drop this out for you. So leave your thoughts. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.